So earlier this week, I showed you how to completely disable the software navigation bar on the OnePlus 5T. Now, even though Oxygen OS does come with a way to hide it, it's actually still there. But with the modification that I explained earlier, th earlier this week, it completely disables and removes the software navigation bar. But this is some those kind of functions are what we need. We're gonna need a home back and recent button to navigate Android. Now there are a bunch of different alternative software navigation bar features. Some people use sidebar. I used to use Pi Control for a while. I can see that simple Pi Control is a lot more what I used to use, it seems this main Pi Control application has gotten a lot more bloated. When you have Omni Swipe, I mean, there's a bunch of different alternative navigation bar options out there. Today, I wanted to highlight a one of them that I have really come to enjoy. Now, again, I really like Pi Controls, being able to slide in from the side. I don't know if the application itself has changed or Maybe Android Oreo has changed the way it detects coming in from the side. Maybe it's the case that I'm using. Whatever it is, it wasn't always triggering when I did a slide in on my OnePlus 5T. This might not be the case for you. So if you do like the idea of Pi Controls, I definitely do recommend you check out one of those Pi Control applications. However, I have uh, recently switched to using an application, a free application called Swipe Navigation. Now the basic features of Swipe Navigation are free. If you want to do, if you want to change any of these other fancier gestures, it will cost you $1.50. Not bad considering the usefulness, at least to me, of such a, an application. So the idea is that you're going to swipe up from the bottom of the screen and wherever you swipe up, it will do a different command. So look up here, we have the top. When we swipe up from the left side, which is where the normal back button would be, it will go back. We swipe up from the center, which is where the normal home button would be, then it will go home. We swipe up from the right side of the bottom of the screen which is where the recents button normally is, then it will activate the recents button. And it's exactly as you would think. You can see these gestures are very quick, very responsive. And the left side is just a simple swipe, while the right side is a long press. So if I swipe up and hold for a couple of seconds, it's going to activate that long press, whatever it is there. There's a lot of different things that we can set here, a root action, an accessibility action, an actual application, a, sort, a shortcut. So there's a lot of different features that we can go here, a bunch of different gesture settings. I'm normally not the type that likes to set up a whole bunch of fancy things, but this application does have a lot of that included again i'm happy with just using the free part because i just wanted a software navigation replacement and having these simple gestures that as you can see are very responsive every time i do it and i'm not always missing it i have been very happy with the swipe navigation gestures on the oneplus 5t